I'm Casey O'Toole, lead programmer for XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, and the first time I played XCOM, I remember walking my guys off the dropship and they immediately were shot at and, and died. And I thought that was one of the coolest things I'd seen in a video game at the time. Uh, it was brutal in its difficulty and uh, it was just a, a unique way of playing a game where um, you could reload your game, but I think uh, if you were a real man, you let those guys die. The same in that it's spiritually XCOM, there's aliens, there's research, um, there's a tactical game, there's a strategy game, but different in the way that you play the game um, and that we feel like we've uh, enhanced the things that we, that we liked and, and removed some of the things that we didn't like or thought maybe were, were tedious. Um, and there's lots of different actions that you can do. You can move, you can shoot, you can aim, you can suppress. Um, and one of the cool things is the suppression ability, which when you do use it on an alien, your character fires at that alien, but it continues to fire on the alien. So visually, the game t seems like it takes on a real-time um, approach. Uh, but really, none of those shots are hitting but the shots are bouncing off of cars, breaking glass, and it, and it really provides a very uh, action-oriented feel to a turn-based strategy game. It, it's ridiculous what we're able to do now compared to uh, the things that were done in the original. Just the fact that we're, we're 3D, um, the interactivity with the environment as far as being able to climb over, climb onto, jump through windows, kick down doors, jump off of buildings, um, blowing the holes in the buildings, all these things that you could kind of you could do in the original XCOM, but seem so much cooler now that you can watch them at a high frame rate. It feels more immersive. You know, we put the camera down low um, for cinematic moments and, and some death shots that we do some cool things with the camera, and it just immerses you that much more in the, in the experience. So working with Unreal Engine has been uh, really an amazing experience. It's allowed us to get our content going on the, the Xbox 360, the PS3, the PC, uh, much faster than we would have been able to in the past. Um, the quality of the shaders and the graphics, um, just all of the things that the Unreal Engine provides us allows us to focus on making the game and, and the game uh, just looks great because the artists can focus on what they need to do and we can we can worry about making the game. The big thing that we're bringing to the table is the, the immersiveness by the visuals. Um, and I'm excited to see the reaction from the fans when, when they see some of these, these moments that happened um, 